this arbitration is illegal, now and void. China has never and will never accept it. Magandang araw mga ka-aerial defense may ibabahagi na naman ako sa inyo dahil ngayong araw na ito ay may bagay tayong pag-uusapan, Chinese Consul General, sinupalpal ng Department of Foreign Affairs, pero bago tayo magpatuloy wag mo muna kalimutan mag-like, share, and subscribe, paki-follow at like muna ng aming page na nasa description na ang link. Pinuna ng Department of Foreign Affairs ang mga pahayag ni Chinese Consul General Zhang Shen, na minamaliit ang arbitral ruling na pumapabor sa posisyon ng Pilipinas sa West Philippine Sea, sa pagbisita sa Iloilo City noong ikawalo ng Pebrero, sinabi ng Chinese Consul General na hinding hindi tatanggapin ng kanyang bansa ang desisyon ng The Hague, na iginiit na ang umanoy pagmamayari nito sa halos buong South China Sea, kabilang ang West Philippine Sea, ay batay umano sa historikal at mga legal na katotohanan, Sinabi niya na ang arbitral ruling sa West Philippine Sea ay null and void ang desisyon ng arbitral noong Hulyo taon na 2016, gayon paman, ay nagpawalang bisa sa mga pag-aangkin ng China sa South China Sea, kahit na nagsasaad na ang Pilipinas ay may eksklusibong mga karapatan sa soberanya sa West Philippine Sea, sa gitna ng World War na ito sa bisa ng arbitral ruling sa pinagtatalunang dagat, ang Philippine Coast Guard ay patuloy na naguulat ng harassment mula sa Chinese counterpart nito, habang nagsasagawa ng regular na resupply mission sa mga military outpost ng bansa na matatagpuan sa West Philippine Sea, noong unang bahagi ng taong ito, sinabi ng PCG na hinaras ng mga miyembro ng China Coast Guard ang mga mangingisdang Pilipino na nangongolekta ng mga seashell malapit sa Bajo de Masinloc, na nasa loob ng exclusive economic zone ng Pilipinas, kaya ganito na lamang kakapal ang mukha ng Chinese Consul General na ito magsalita dito mismo sa Pilipinas, na hindi nila susundin ang international law na pabor sa Pilipinas dahil sa pansariling paniniwala nila. Narito nga ang buong pahayag ng Chinese Consul General na ito tungkol sa pangmamaliit sa karapatan ng Pilipinas sa West Philippine Sea. The Permanent uh, Court of Arbitration in 2016 issued a ruling um, stating that uh, China blockade is in violation of uh, the international law. Uh, Ma'am, in your own um, view, uh, uh, who, who do you think, who, wh wh where, wh or who does this uh, Scarborough show belong to? And um, in your own opinion, what formula would you suggest in um, asserting such arbitral ruling without you know, actually us going to quote, 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 war. Thank you. Any more questions concerning South China Sea issues? Any more questions? I will answer them for once. Uh, uh, and, then, and then I will make it... Uh, yes. And then also, uh, some uh, legal luminaries proposed during the term of uh, President Duterte a new uh, baseline law which um, supposedly identify maritime territorial uh, features which uh, the Philippines uh, occupies in the West Philippine Sea. Uh, in your own views also, ma'am, uh, should the present administration, uh, Bongbong Marcos, continue to enforce as arbitrary ruling uh, in uh, pursuit of such arbitral claim. That's all, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. First of all, I can tell you very clearly the award or arbitration you mentioned. It is illegal now and void. And why they are illegal now and void, I can also give you the details. But it's very time consuming. So that's why I bring with me a white paper on this issue. Let me, my colleague, help to deliver it to you. You can study it and you can learn more historical facts and legal facts to tell you why this arbitration is illegal now and void. China has never and will never accept it. The second thing I want to stress is China's Inter uh, China's rights and interests and the territorial integrity over 
the South China Sea. They are deeply grounded in the historical facts and the legal facts and also in the international law. So that is the second thing. The third thing I want to stress that is disputes on sea cannot define the overall bilateral relationship. They are not the entirety of the bilateral relationship. And China always uphold the policy to settle disputes through peaceful consultations. And that is very crucial and important. We will not accept any kind of provocations. And I'm also glad to share with you that is this year in January, the two sides just held the new round of meeting. And that is BCM. We call it BCM. That is bilateral uh, consultation mechanism on the China Sea issue. That is the eighth meeting between the two countries' foreign ministries. And this meeting, once again, two sides reaffirmed that they will continue to settle disputes and differences through friendly consultation and dialogue. And they are all reconfirmed that it is crucial that peaceful, co peaceful coexistence that serves the fundamental interests of both sides. And I can tell you that two heads of state, they also reached the consensus that is cherish the bilateral relationship calm down the disputes and handle disputes properly. Not let, let the single disputes kidnap and define the entirety of bilateral relationship. Not let it hinder the development of the bilateral relationship. So I'm sure that is also the common aspiration of the both two peoples a steady and a sound bilateral relationship serves the fundamental interests of both sides. That is what I can share with you. And uh, by the way, I also want to share my personal views. That is, there are so many disinformation and misinformation about these disputes and differences. So we need to remain vigilant against them. Some anti-China forces, they like to hype up and dramatize those things. And also, maybe they will sometimes deliberately spreading, spreading disinformation and misinformation. How about the public? public don't know the truth, don't know the fact. So it is the media's social responsibility. Always seek the truth and the facts without no bias, without colored glasses. Don't send any wrong messages to the public. Don't poison the good, friendly atmosphere that we need to strengthen and foster our good relationship. Para sa mas madaming update tungkol sa ating defense, abangan lamang ang aking mga bagong video. Para naman sa mga gusto magpa-shoutout, mag-comment lamang po at share. Paki-follow at like muna ng aming page na nasa description na ang link. Huwag mo na rin kalimutan mag-like, share, and subscribe, pindutin mo na rin ang bell para updated kayo sa aking mga video. Maraming salamat po.